Hello everyone, and welcome back to Warrior Cats The Untold Tales. And we are back here with Renfeather, who is really struggling because she has actually accidentally caused the death of a young River Clan cat. And she's really not sure how she's going to be able to recover from that, even though her clan it seems to be pretty laid back about it. I don't know if they know that she has caused a death yet. And she thinks she killed two sisters, but as you guys pointed out, she only killed one of the two sisters. So that was really, it was so intense. Oh my gosh. And some of the things that you guys wrote for the death of the little sister was so devastating. Okay, it's not time to sleep yet. So let's go ahead and we're going to come over and we'll get some food. Just kind of go through almost feeling a bit numb. That is the first time that Renfeather has ever actually killed a cat. So it turns out when we bite the cats and they just kind of get the little red X through them, that means that they're like worn out. But when you keep fighting them and then the cross shows up, that means you've killed them. So I think Renfeather is sort of stunned. She hasn't really know how to cope with anything. She's just going to curl up inside of the brambles and sleep through the night. And we'll have to see how she does in the morning. She's healing up from the big battle. But where will she go for comfort? Will it be to Wild Nose or will it be to Quick Heart? And then just really quickly I did and we'll drop her little smooth stone back here because she's got a little she's got a little pile of treasures back here. I love that. I love collecting up these treasures. It's awesome. But just really quickly because I know some of you guys are probably wondering where is Warrior Cats The Sims 3? Normally that's on Saturdays. Today I am just completely exhausted because we did end up having a really wonderful two hour stream my very first live stream in in zoo crafting so I apologize that we haven't got a new episode of warrior cat sims 3 up just yet keep an eye out hopefully I'll have it out in the next day or so if not late late tonight as a surprise but right now we are going to enjoy warrior cats the untold tales because it is giving me so much inspiration and so much energy to be able to work on the sims 3 series and right now we've got little Ren feather trying to pick between a wild nose and quick heart and a lot of you guys want her to go with quick heart and a lot of you guys want her to go with wild nose personally i think she would get along well with wild nose but let's see if he says anything today let's see if either of these two males offers our poor lost confused wren feather some sort of comfort wild nose i found this and thought you might like it oh it's a dead squirrel Thank you, Wild Nose. It's a gigantic dead squirrel. Well, now that's a, that's a nice thing. You know, that's a little bit of food. So he gave us a shiny thing last time, which we're really happy to have. Quick Heart, what about you? I hope you like this gift. Another dead squirrel. Oh, McGinnis. So we've got dead squirrels from her suitors today. And it kind of puts both Quick Heart and Wild Nose uh, on the same level. So I think that Renfeather is going to come over and drop off the dead squirrels. And let's see if we can gain her enough reputation today to get another one of the bonus coins and possibly be able to change what her, what her beautiful coat looks like. Because she's just a plain brown cat right now. But maybe she'll kind of like shed and we'll get some new colors from Sky Star. So let's See what we can help out with today. Uh, Snowheart. Remember, you're looking for comfrey plants. They grow near the gorge. All right, thank you, Snowheart. So that's our current quest for Snowheart. How many of these have we done? So we would still need to complete 27 medicine cat quests in order to become a medicine cat assistant. Um, I'm not sure if that's what we want to do. We'll have to think about that. We would be able to heal ourselves though. However, I feel like Renfeather is more, uh, you know, she's a little bit more playful. Being a medicine cat assistant sort of implies that maybe she wouldn't want to be a mother herself one day. And I, I think she does really love the kits. In fact, I think that's where she's going to gather a little bit of solace from her terrible, terrible crime of killing a win or killing a. Uh, River Clan cat that she's trying to keep quiet from all of Thunder Clan. I think she comes into the nursery and she just spends a little bit of time with all of the kits here, trying to kind of push away the dark memories. So let's talk to Long Kit if we can. Oh, we can't. They can't even talk yet. They're so tiny. Shineford, you need more help with them. Hello again, old friend. I was just thinking how you were once as big as Grey Kit over there. But anyway, speaking of kits, Grey Kit asked if someone could bring her some bird feathers. I just know that would brighten her day. Oh, we've totally got a bird feather. See, I think that will put a like extra step in Wind Feather's walk because she will be very, very happy to go and snag a bird feather. We've got a bird feather we've collected for our little treasure pile. So let's take the bird feather over and we will drop it off with Shine Fur. So Shine Fur, what do you think? And wait, I have to I have to talk to her again. There we go. Look at that, a little bit more reputation. And I think Renfeather will be really over eager trying to distract herself today, seeing what the kids need. 
The stranger thing happened to me yesterday. I was hunting for the fresh kill pile when I found a very shiny gem and a golden ring on the ground near Thunderpath. My mouth was full at the time, so I went off with the prey I had caught to put the prey I had caught in the pile. When I returned, the shiny object was gone. But there must have been more of them, perhaps because a careless two leg dropped one near the Thunderpath. I think the kids would love one of those if you can find one. Uh, of course, Shinefur. I hope you haven't been spying on our bramble treasure pile. Um, I'm not going to be bringing you the one we have in the brambles but let's take Ren Feather out then we'll grab a quick little drink and we'll see if we can gather up some comfrey I think she'd be very nervous about going near um going near river clan territory again but oh and apparently if we talk to Roseheart and Dragon Soul they can tell us when things are happening today is a boring day haven't seen anything happen at all all right thank you Roseheart Dragon Soul Hey, Renfeather. The territory is pretty calm today. I haven't seen any unexpected visitors. All right, but apparently if we talk to them every now and then, and let's actually do a little bit of, uh, let's see, ah, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I stepped on a stick. Gosh darn, I chased away the little mouse that was over here. Anything else? Anything else? No, I don't see anything. I think Renfeather would be very, very nervous about going uh, too close too close to River Clan after she killed off one of the River Clan young ones oh and that really is making me very excited to work on sims 3 actually even though i'm exhausted from our stream earlier i'm very very excited to jump back into the sims 3 soon all right you guys oh oh, oh there's a little mouse can we catch it oh it got away i was trying to line it up and it just didn't work out oh ah what's happening prey claw prey claw dark fur why why attack 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 i think you have to like face the cat straight directly on all right, we chased away dark fur. Ren feather, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, they almost got hit. Did you see that? Ah, silver hurt. Okay, prey claw, prey claw, quick. We'll get you back. We'll get you back. Okay, I think we need to go find that comfrey because the cats have been hurt. So let's go look for that comfrey. Silver heart and prey claw were nearby. Is there any comfrey that we can find? Oh dear, I think we need to go a little bit further down. Oh, there's the comfrey. Okay, we've got an apple now. We can give that to Wild Nose, I suppose. And let's take this comfrey back to the clan then because Ren Feather is going to be quite worried uh, about prey heart. Uh, was that prey heart that we just ran into? Uh, who apparently is one of the... Eh. Oh, we got it! Yay! Who apparently is one of the cats of Thunder Clan. All right, so we've got a dead mouse. We're hurt ourselves, but we're trying to push through the pain. Run over to Snowheart. There we go. I've got, I've got it. I've got it, Snowheart. Do I just need to drop the com- Oh, this is Goldenrod. This isn't Comfrey. This isn't going to help us at all. Oh, Renfeather. I think she feels a little embarrassed that she got it all confused now. Let's go ahead and drop this. And I think that she would push herself. Uh, I think we're going to have to leave again. And let's push her. And we're going to see if we can manage to find the comfrey and maybe manage to carry back more prey. So, all right. We, and I think Cloudleaf would insist on her healing before she goes again. But Renfeather is just kind of becoming a little bit of a, a riskier cat. A warrior who is willing to push herself through the pain and try to do what she can to help out her clan. So, comfrey, comfrey. Uh, I think that will be... Um, we found Comfrey up by Shadow Clan before, didn't we? All right, <gasps> Red Feather, you almost got hit by a car. Oh, there's a mouse. All right, instincts will take over, and we got the mouse. Wonderful. So we'll go ahead and collect that, and then we're running across, running across the Thunder Clan. Oh gosh, or the Thunder Path, not Thunder Clan. Good grief. And then, are we gonna find any Comfrey? Do you see any Red Feather? There's lots of mysterious spots. There's lots of interesting things to sniff. Were we supposed to come up here for comfrey? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be in the moors. Oh my goodness. Or not the moors, but like supposed to be in Shadow Clan territory. So here we are sneaking in Shadow Clan territory at night. Renfeather is really. Oh my gosh! This is so cool! Wow! I could totally see her being enchanted by this. I mean, look, there's fireflies. Oh my goodness, I think Renfeather actually finds a lot of peace here in the swamp. But what if she decides she needs to be a Shadow Clan cat because she killed that one, the one River Clan cat? What if she decides that this is where she belongs? Is this something we can pick up right here? These mushrooms? I don't know. Let's drop this apple. Is this something I can carry? We're still not finding any comfrey. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is a horse tail. Gosh darn, we're in the wrong spot again. Oh my goodness, I think Renfeather would be so enchanted by all of this. What is this? 
What? Is this a safe way under Thunderpath? This is a tunnel. This is a tunnel. Oh my goodness. Is that even on the map? That's so interesting, you guys. I didn't even know we could go to the to the uh, right and try to approach um, the Great Sycamore and Snake Rocks. This is so cool. We definitely, what I think we might start doing, ah, Great Claw. Oh no, Scar Pelt. Okay, Novice, Novice, Duskfoot, uh, uh, Scar Pelt is coming for us. Okay, we got him. And then, all right, we won. All right, we, we fought back the Shadow Clan warriors who were trying to invade. And Renfeather has returned with a little bit of food and a lot of wounds. And I think we're gonna have her limp over and drop her mouse and she'll try to look nonchalant even though she was just exploring Shadow Clan territory. I don't think she can get out of her head just how beautiful all of those amazing looking fireflies were. So we'll let her go ahead and eat in the morning. For now, she's gonna crawl, crawl into her bramble pile and she's gonna go ahead and sleep. Can she sleep? She can't sleep. We missed her sleep time. She's too excited to sleep, you guys. Okay, we'll add in uh, some more of the items that she has collected. There we go. Look at that. She's got her little pile of items over here. All right, so we'll let Renfeather kind of think about the fact that all of those beautiful fireflies really distracted her. But this does give me an idea for the Sims 3 Warrior Cats challenge and that it would be nice if we maybe, um, I've been having a hard time figuring out how to take care of some of the cat's storylines and then how to take care of the entire clan of cats at the same time. So maybe on occasion we'll like watch over the whole clan, but occasionally we'll switch over to just like one or two cats that we pick for the entire day. We'll pick those two cats and we'll put them in a new household and we'll have them be on the lot visiting with uh, the clan that they're from. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about that. Basically Sims mechanics, Sims mechanics, you guys. All right, Renfeather had a very long night I think she was too hungry to really to really focus so let's go ahead and get her some food uh, she's gonna have a huge appetite today I think she's gonna go back out and want to explore near shadow clan territory once more so we'll have to see if we can manage to find any comfrey but that's over by all right nothing by the thunder path I don't know let's go ahead and activate her sprint whoa she's so fast I think she's curious about this area now. Exploring by Thunderpath, the, the unexpected treasures. Whoa, are we gonna miss out on that battle? Gray herb and gray herb. There's two gray herbs, you guys. All right, it looks like the, the Shadow Clan warriors left. But yeah, it may be fun to just kind of grab one cat at a time, just on occasion, so that we can kind of let them go wherever they want to go. If they want to go on big adventures and journeys like this, then so be it. Where are we? Oh my gosh, was that a snake? Oh, is the stunning rocks? Oh, did I just get hurt? Did she just get bit by something? Oh my gosh, there's snakes. Oh, Renfeather, Renfeather, you wanna get out of here, I think. I don't think this is a good spot to be. Oh, there's a mouse. Probably not a good spot to be as a mouse either. Uh, what's this? Can we go in here? I don't know about that. That's a cave, all right. Um, that's interesting. So Renfeather is wandering in places that she's never been brought, places that she's never been told she can go. I wonder what she thinks about all of this. Oh, we chased away a bird by accident. All right, there's a little mouse. Can we get the mouse? Oh, we got the mouse, yes, all right. So we've got three dead mice. So at least she'll be able to return home. Uh, I think this is the edge of the, clamp, the camp territory right up here. I think she'll be able to return home with all of this. But she's really curious about Thunderpath, especially the shiny things. So we may have to go look for more shiny things. But I think she's kind of tangled with uh, some of the snakes and she's hurt a little bit. So back we go. Maybe we can drop off some of this. We're going to have to use up all of the reputation we just got for bringing back prey to the prey pile just to heal her again. Ah, oh, dear. All right, come along, Rinfeather. It looks like you won't be changing your color today. But I am, there we go. Yeah, we have to, ah, so much, so much healing up. That used up a ton of our reputation, phooey. But I am really loving the idea of having the clan, but only focusing on one cat. So I may have to think about how I could do that. Maybe locking a whole bunch of the other cats needs? I'm not sure. Or maybe that's just the strain of it, like picking one or two cats, focusing on them, but having to make sure the prey pile is full enough that that way all of the cats will be able to eat enough so and not, not trigger having to roll for illnesses and disease. Uh, I think Quickheart may call out to Renfeather before she leaves. Oh, hey Renfeather. All right, so no gift for her from him. I think she'd be a little curious about Wild Nose. Oh, hey, how's it going? All right. So no gifts from them today. And Frogfur was just going to say, oh, hi. I guess they're not interested. 
<laughs> All right, see, I wonder if maybe she would feel more comfortable in another clan. You guys, I wonder if Renfeather, I wonder if she's actually meant for a different clan than Thunder Clan in the end. Huh, and she continually is drawn back up towards Thunderpath. Hmm. Uh oh. And we're being chased down. Oh, by two cats! Silverheart! Silverheart, what a name! All right, we're gonna keep moving. Rainfeather will let them have chased her away. Um, and she's getting a little bit too sassy about crossing Thunderpath, too. We'll have to be careful about that. But I don't see- Oh my goodness gracious! Okay, uh, that's a lot of cats. We're gonna- we're gonna run into four trees. Was that just a whole bunch of Shadow Clan cats? Yeah, and Wind Clan, and they're coming for us, so we're gonna get out of the way. Looks like they're in their own fight, and that's why there were so much- there were so many Shadow Clan cat warriors up there. And I think Rinfeather will glance around just one last time. Oh no, this is the spot where she killed <gasps> Run! Yeah, I think she would, I think she'd be too sad to continue in that area. So that's the spot where she killed the, uh, the young, oh, there's some prey down there apparently. Where she killed the young warrior, River Clan cat, uh, warrior. Oh, what? There's a whole bunny over there. What the heck? That would be a good amount of food for the clan. Can we get a whole bunny? Is there some way? Is it still up here? Uh, na, 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 na. Oh, 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 we got a whole bunny! All right, dead rabbit. Wow, we can take this back for reputation for sure. So no Comfrey. We're definitely going to have to just explore again and again and again to try to find Comfrey. And she just walked straight on some branches. That's too funny. All right. Oh, and we got a bird too. So Rinfeather is definitely, she seems to be doing a little bit better with her hunting. Um, but we weren't able to get any of our quest items, so it's a little tricky to be able to build up reputation. We can build up reputation just through being a good hunter at least, so there is that. Alright, let's go ahead and gather this, and maybe- there we go. So yeah, more and more ideas, more and more invigorating support. Um, okay, can I get that? <gasps> we got it! I can't take it with us, but I think we can bury it. Sweet! We have gotten so much prey! I wonder if this is going to be enough reputation to change her coat. Let's see. And drop it, drop it, and then drop it, and drop it. Nope, still not enough, but we're getting there. So I think she's feeling a little bit better. Some days of exploring and invigorating uh, hunting have really helped Rinfeather out. But I'm beginning to wonder if Rinfeather actually belongs in a different clan, you guys. Because she's really, really drawn to the beauty of what's up north in Shadow Clan's territory. So we'll have to see what happens. We'll have to see if we maybe will unlock that area and let little Rinfeather move from Thunder Clan into Shadow Clan. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.